Hello guys, welcome to my video of the Tenda AC21 dual band gigabit Wi-Fi router. So quick information, it's dual band gigabit wireless router, it supports 802.11 AC wave 2 technology and provides speeds up to 233 megabits per second, which is uh, 300 megabits per second for 2.4 gigahertz and 1733 megabits per second for 5 gigahertz. Interesting fact is it has or it's powered by 4x4 MU MIMO technology of 5 gigahertz band. It has 3 gigabit ports. It's equipped with 28 nanometers 1 gigahertz CPU with 500 megahertz coprocessor with dual core design and it features six six decibels antennas which is perfect and also it supports beam forming which means uh, when you connect with your mobile device it will actually follow your device and uh, actually focus that beam or signal to your device so that's very interesting technology and of course it supports the app management. As you can see some more information at the back. Client capacity 2535, of course supports IPv6, broadband account migration, client filter, but we'll see about all these stuff later. So let's take a look inside. You've got here some Quick installation guide, a few languages. Here is the router itself. So, as I can say, at the first look, it's a little bit bigger than ordinary routers. There is also one LAN cable, length is one meter and uh, it's category 6 UTP cable and of course power adapter. And its total length is 120 centimeters. Well, as I mentioned, it's uh, it seems a bit bigger, so let's just compare it to the ordinary TP-Link router, as you can see, the difference. It's bigger, but not much. Right, each antenna can be rotated. All of them the same. As you can see here, they've got notification lights. And at the back, you can see the LAN port, gigabit LAN port, the last one is marked as IPTV. You got reset or WPS button and power adapter goes here. So, after the start you can see the notification lights, LAN Wi-Fi, they are on. So now I'm gonna connect it to the computer and show you the first setup. So for the first setup of your router, use your either computer or mobile phone. You can connect it directly with LAN cable or on your mobile phone or tablet or computer. You can just connect to the Wi-Fi because for the first time it, the password is not set. So just find it. I'm going to use the computer, but it's uh, exactly the same on the mobile phones. So connect to the Wi-Fi. So after the connection, go to any web browser and type in the tendawifi.com and you see quick setup wizard, just click on start. It will automatically detect your connection type. You can set it up manually or just, just keep it. Now here you can 
set up the name of your Wi-Fi or so-called SSID. You can set up password for Wi-Fi, use strong password. I'm gonna use it with not required yet. The same login password, you can set it up now. Don't forget, you do it, I'm gonna just skip it. And that's it, that's really it. So now I'm gonna show you the all of the options within the root tag because usually that's a thing that you cannot find anywhere else before buying the root tag. So you can do what everything you can set here. So you can look even at the languages available. So at the tag status, you can see just a status of your net, router, whatever. Under the internet settings, you see, you can choose ISP type, connection type. You can do this connection from here under the Wi Fi settings. So you can see, you can unify your 5G and 2.4G bands. You can set up the Wi-Fi schedule for any day. Wireless repeating. We got channel bandwidth here. You can see the transmit power, so you can even lower it. That's pretty great. Wireless protected setup options, Beamforming Plus, access point mode, and anti interference. You can set up the guest network here. You know what that means, I'm pretty sure. You can set up even the speeds, you can set up the parental control, as you can see, options, we've got VPN options, IPv6, and advanced settings. As you can see, bandwidth control, IPTV. You can uh, set up and connect to your Tenda Wi-Fi app on your mobile device. You got sleeping mode here. That's a great thing. Let control, you can actually turn the lights off, that's perfect. MAC address, filtering, firewall, static root, DDNS. Virtual server, DMZ host, UPnP and the system settings Okay, that's it. Here is the app of the Tenda Wi-Fi. As you can see, you'll see your SSID up here. You can take control of your device. Here at the, I mean, landing page, you'll see all the devices connected. 
under the storage you won't, you won't find anything because this router doesn't have usb connector suddenly and under the tools you can see the info you can actually manage your router you can do reboot from here change internet settings login passwords you can set up the blacklist system update let control you can reset it from here you can also as you can see accelerated wi-fi that's interesting thing so i'll actually try the router and set it channels and these stuffs for best for the best signal strength also you can control guest network wi-fi schedule transmit power you can do the security check and set up the remote wake up so that's pretty much it about the app it's kind of useful and also under the devices on the main page actually you can set up speed limits or connection notifications parental control modify your mic internet information for each connected device another thing if you look at the lights as you've seen in the options you can actually switch them off but even if they are on they are not like disturbing they are not very strong so that's that's really perfect i like it now about the signal strength uh i'm not gonna use this router i got it just for the video uh, but i've tested it obviously the thing is it it is stronger i know that six antennas of six decibels each um, it, it seems really strong but don't don't expect magic from it so i'm gonna talk about the five gigahertz band with the ordinary router i've compared it to uh four antennas five decibel each i can get the signal to the different floor and behind the two brick walls where the where actually i can get the signal there but it's really very weak with this router i can get behind another third wall where also the signal is weak there but it's it's much better in the previous room behind the two brick walls so it is it is better really i don't expect the magic from it but it's much better it's uh, it's kind of router that you can use in the house where you probably use the uh, wi-fi extender so here you will have just one device but probably if you have it somewhere in the middle of your house you have another two bricks also on each side and uh, the outside wall probably won't get the signal outside of the house just my guess you can get like 25 percent better coverage with this one so if you considering this uh, to buy for like medium to big house and you don't want to have like two devices one root side and one extender this is the way i think and that's the end of the video guys uh, if you liked it please hit the subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time